Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm excited to share with you step-by-step -step how to build a complete functional web app using Google AI Studio, which is built on top of Gemini. They just recently announced this about a month ago now. It takes me about 12 minutes to build a ChatGPT replica, which is able to communicate with OpenAI. And then you can also deploy it to the cloud using Google AI Studio as well. It's completely free to use. You don't have to hire developers. You don't have to know how to write a single line of code. It will do everything for you with some simple prompts. So enjoy the tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel and also go ahead and check out my school community. We've got about a thousand members in there at the time of recording and it's growing fast. Link in the description below. In this video, I'm excited to share with you how to build a complete web app using Google AI Studio. This is a very powerful platform that's basically Gemini. Uh, where you get access to a lot more features and you can also create API keys for your automations uh, using Gemini over here as well. But if I want to build a web app, all I have to do is come down to build and it will open up this dashboard right here. So what we can do is we've got a couple different options. We can either start from a template or we can choose from the examples provided here. I think I'm just going to start with a template and if I click on that, it will open this up. So there's many things we can do with this, um, including creating a live agent using bi-directional streaming. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, we've also got VO here. So that's for generating uh, image uh, videos using VO3, image generation, web apps as examples. I'm just going to choose VO3. Here's all of the code. So you don't have to write a single line of code. It will write everything for you, which is just a huge time saver. And it also saves you money hiring a developer as well. Since that is not necessary, you can just build the entire web app from scratch yourself. And this is what it looks like. So we can generate images using VO3. I don't know, I don't, I'm not very good with prompting. I'm just gonna hit generate and it's going to initialize and start running the uh, video generation script using VO3, which is the latest and greatest model from Google. And uh, we'll wait for that to finish and we'll see what it looks like. This is what I was able to create is this, you know, futuristic city using VO3 inside its own web app in Google AI Studio. So that's pretty amazing what it could do. And then obviously you can also add to this as well if you want to improve the app. And then you can also deploy the app as well. So if you just choose a project here. Uh, you do need to set up billing in order to do this because I think this is a paid service and it looks like I will need to upgrade to the free trial, which I'm going to do later, but just know that you will need to uh, add a billing account in order to deploy your apps. But if I want to actually just build my own app instead of using one of the done for you templates, I can issue a prompt and then get the prompt from ChatGPT over here. So that's what I've already done. Basically, I just want to create a web app which emulates ChatGPT, like I've done in some of my other video tutorials. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and put it into Google AI Studio here. If I want to add any additional settings, I've got some options here as well. I'm just going to use the defaults and then I'm going to hit run. So the really nice thing about using these tools like Lovable, Bolt, uh, Google AI Studio, Replit, which I've also made tutorials about on this channel, is that you don't have to pay a developer. You don't have to spend a ton of time developing it yourself. You can just use Google AI Studio to write the entire program for you. And you can even deploy it quickly and easily through here as well. So there's really no excuses not to be creating um, you know, web apps these days. It's never been easier than ever before. Uh, so yeah, we can just watch it create all of the code here. It's building all the files. It's creating the, uh, the repository basically, which we can also save to GitHub as well. So if you want to sign into your GitHub, you can deploy it. And you can also download the app looks like as well. So if I want to download it, boom, I just downloaded the app in a zip file. And then I can just open that up over here. And then you can put it onto your local machine as well. I'm actually using Windows on this one. I usually, I have been using Linux recently. I just installed uh, Debian on my computer, but sometimes Windows is a little bit easier for screen recording and that sort of thing. 
Now it should be pulling up the preview of our app, which was built in literally, how long did that take? Two minutes? I think it took about two to three minutes to build the entire web app. And we'll see how it looks. So I'm just gonna make this full screen, which is also a nice feature that they have built in. Uh, you can preview on different devices. So whether mobile, tablet, or desktop. And I'm just gonna type in hello right here. So as you can see, very similar interface to ChatGPT. We can also change the color scheme as well. So either dark mode or light mode, that's built in directly right off the bat. And if I want to actually integrate this with the OpenAI API, I can say uh, integrate this with OpenAI API. And then we should be able to enter in our API key, and then it will actually be talking to ChatGPT directly rather than just using the built-in features that they've integrated in. So it's just doing everything for me. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to write a single line of code. I can also preview as it's typing the code over here again as well. And I can see right here, it says the OpenAI API key is missing. So I do need to make sure to basically hard code that in. So if I just click on auto fix right here, it does say there was an error with the open API key right here. So in order to get your open API key, you just go to platform.openai.com. For ChatGPT, I'm just going to create a new key right here, and I'm going to call it Google AI Studio. We'll create the key, and then we can just copy and paste this into over here. I can also just search through all the files, but I don't see an easy way to do that right off the bat. So I want to just hard code it in, and then it will be communicating directly with OpenAI. Okay, so that's finished now. I'm just going to go to preview. Oh, and it's actually asking for my API key right here. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to enter in my API key and then save and start chatting. Okay, so now it should have access to the open API, open AI API. I'm just going to say hello. And once again, same response. Um, can you tell me who you are? An AI assistant designed to help answer questions, provide information, and assist with various tasks. Um, I'll just put who built you here. So there we go. It was developed by OpenAI, research organization focused on creating and promoting friendly AI that benefits everyone. Okay. Um, now we can tell it to write a program in Python, which prints hello world. Just something really, really basic to test its abilities. And there we go. Python print hello world. You just need to run this code in a Python environment. Can you build me a complete web app in Python? And there we go. There's the response. It's telling me exactly what to do within my own web app built with Google AI Studio, and it's integrated with OpenAI. And then if I want to just deploy this for people to use, if I really wanted to do that, I could just create a project here, and I could call it chat GPT, um, I don't know, replica or something like that. It doesn't really look exactly like chat GPT, but it's close enough and it works pretty well. So we're just going to name that. And then here we can select the project and then I will need to set up the billing. So in order to do that, I need to go over to Google cloud console. I'm not going to enter in my card information, obviously on this video, but I can link a big billing account from here. And then after that, I can deploy the uh, web app for people to start using. So in total, that took about you know 12 minutes to build this entire app from scratch. This is just a very simple example. And you know, it can also make it full screen as well. I really like what they've done with the, the uh, web app builder functionality in Google AI Studio. This is definitely comparable to like Replit lovable bolt. I think it does a pretty damn good job of creating these apps. So again, this is a huge time saver for anybody that is building a web development agency, or maybe you want to build your own web apps. You don't have to hire a developer. You don't have to know how to code. You just use a tool like this and it'll do everything for you. So I'm going to save this project. If you got value from this video, please go ahead, subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming video tutorials. And then also please check out my school community 
We've got a thousand members in here at the time of recording. You can get access to the classroom. I'm mostly teaching how to build automations in make.com. And also NAN, I've got about 2000 NAN templates in here as well. Some of these are, are paid modules, other ones are free. You can take a look through all of the tutorials. Many of these are already available on my YouTube channel. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. Signing off. Take care. Stay safe. Peace from Thailand.